We have fire. To the coal. I think Hello, welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill. Uh, back after a, a brief break, I had to have some oral surgery done. And uh, so I've had a, a couple week break in my, my filming schedule. I uh, still have a lot of videos planned this year. Uh, today, I wanted to go over uh, a few uh, little solar kits that I put together. They're pretty uh, field expedient. And uh, I want to go ahead and uh, open one of these up and, uh, and go over the contents and uh, share with you guys uh, a few ideas that I came up with. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Uh, what we have here in front of us uh, is a couple of uh, couple kits that I put together, oh, I guess a couple of years ago, about two years ago, and uh, I uh, purchased, I'm only going to open one of these kits, they're mirror images of each other, and uh, I don't want to pull all the contents out of the second one here. The, uh, it started out... Uh, I started out by purchasing a uh, solar panel off of uh, eBay by Sunlink. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the, the components of this kit here. And then we're going to go over the uh, various pieces. It's one of my brainstorms. For those of you who have been following me for a while, you know that I, I'm not into a lot of the mainstream kits and stuff. I, I have a tendency to put my own gear together and I'm not a really big gear guy at that you know the old saying the more you know the less you carry but uh, I do have some gear and a few ideas that I that I've come up with here that's the solar panel that's made by Sunlink folding panel and uh, this is a power bank. I think it's 10,400 milliamps, something like that. And the uh, solar panel I purchased off of eBay, I don't even remember how much I uh, paid for them. I got two of them at the same time. And the, the panel with the patch cords here uh, all came in the kit. And uh, they came in these pouches. And the pouches are actually pretty nice. These are... Uh, heavy canvas. They're uh, PU coated, rubberized coated on the inside, which makes them uh, waterproof. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm, I'm wondering if these would hold water. They may. They just might. Uh, it's got a little belt loop here. This uh, pouch would make a good little foraging pouch. Little possibles bag in a uh, in a survival situation. Just empty the contents out, and uh, if you're collecting acorns, nuts, berries, what have you, I think this would make a pretty good uh, little foraging pouch. So there is some uh, multi-use uh, possibilities here. Now the panel. This is a brand made by Sunlink. Uh, it's pretty uh, pretty decent uh, quality. Panel opens up. It is a full 12 volt panel, and you have your plug-in over here. It's a built-in charge controller, and uh, it is grommeted. This is pretty heavy-duty stuff here. These, uh, this is all uh, weather-proof here, so if you have it in the rain or whatever, it's not going to not going to be harmed by the moisture. Uh, these are grommeted, so they can be they can be hung up, depending on uh, the application you're going to use it for. And this kit comes with uh, a variety of patch cords. That's why I went with this kit. Uh, I like it because it's compact. The whole thing is compact, but uh, also it came with a lot of. Uh, 
a lot of accessories here. This will plug into the panel. This will plug into the charge controller on the panel over here. This is a, a standard cigarette lighter or accessory plug. You can charge your uh, car battery either directly with uh, the supplied cables here. And these two also plug in to the uh, panel. You can uh, lay this up on the front of your vehicle uh, with the hood open, stretch it out, and uh, hook your uh, positive and negative clamps up here just like jumper cables and charge your battery that way uh, or you can also charge it through the uh, accessory port or in the old days we called cigarette lighter jack lay the panel up on your uh, up on your dash and uh, run the cable down and I believe one of these this is uh, an extension this long piece here so that just gives you about, that's about six foot of cable there. And this is also a, uh, a PIN connector here. And that also plugs in. I believe you can charge like a laptop off of this uh, type of uh, connection. Now the items that I added in uh, personally are the... Uh, The uh, light here goes up around your head, and this is uh, rechargeable through the. Uh, I know it's rechargeable as soon as I find the the jack here. Here we go. And it is water resistant. These are all rubberized uh, rubberized uh, buttons on here. <clears throat> this is a, a USB. USB plug so you can charge this directly off of the uh, off of the panel here I have a USB a dual USB plug here plus the patch cord for that and this end the small end the micro fits in here and this fits into the uh, the big plug here. So if we plug it in, I don't know if you can see it's already glowing. Whoop! Panel's producing power. I don't know if that's showing up on camera. Maybe you could see that's glowing blue. That means we have juice going to it, so the panel's doing its thing. Plug that in. Plug that in and we have, I don't know if that's picking up on camera, there we go, the red light right here, right here. That means we're, uh, we're being charged right now by the panel. So I wanted something that was field expedient and I love the sustainability aspect of it. So this being a rechargeable uh, headlight uh, was very appealing to me and especially coupled with the, the solar panel. Uh, I could top this guy off and uh, in the daytime and I have I have uh, light for in the evening or if I have to navigate at night or depending on the situation and this light here will glow red until it uh, there, you can see it right there. It'll glow red, and once it's chopped, topped off, it'll turn green. And this thing, this little light here, I got it also off of eBay, and I think I paid, I don't know, it might have been $20. It's super lightweight. Uh, has red. And the red is nice. Um, they're, they're pretty bright. You could actually navigate by those at night if you had to. But uh, the red is, is nice because uh, it doesn't uh, mess up your night vision. Also, if you're trying to be covert 
uh, you're in a covert situation, red isn't going to give away your position as readily as, as a bright light, a white, bright white light would, rather out, out in the woods bobbing around. Uh, so I, I was uh, thinking ahead on that aspect, and then on this side is the, uh, high, the uh, regular LED, LED light, that's the uh, low beam strobe low high and off so uh, and this thing the bright uh, white LED is bright enough to light up half a block I've tried it back in the neighborhood and and everything it's really amazingly bright for its size and the low beam uh, low beam on this will uh, conserve the power a lot longer um, I also have a Firehawk high intensity. This is a uh, has a Cree bulb in it. This thing is really it's like a spotlight. I mean it's it's crazy bright. And this also acts as a battery charger. We pull the battery out. This is a rechargeable Duracell um, twenty. 300 2500 mil, milliamps and I've never been able to run that run the power out of this with that light yet but uh, it's another thing I added here this is a battery charger these are magnets on the end and this thing doesn't have a positive or negative on it it automatically adjusts for polarity and this is made by Ooh light got these off eBay also they weren't very expensive let's unplug this guy here when you hook these up it'll automatically adjust and this will charge any battery with the exception of a uh, with the exception of a 9 volt Trying to see if we've got a, a light here showing that we're charging. Anyway, this is all you do. You just hook it up, automatically adjust for the polarity, and uh, double A's, triple A's, C's, D's, uh, it'll, it'll charge them all. Should be a blue light glowing here showing that we're charging but I think I paid I think it's ten dollars a piece on the uh, on the ooh lights which I thought was a pretty good deal and this kit over here is a mirror image of this one same exact uh, gear inside there so this is a, a field expedient battery charger uh, and I also have a little battery charger here that I it's a little USB battery charger that I picked up at uh, at the hardware store and that'll take two uh, AAA A's and these will fold up and accommodate double A's so it's just a little extra redundancy I put in there and uh, this power bank here is really good it's water resistant. Uh, I believe they set up to 15, 20 minutes underwater. Uh, it's a lithium ion. Comes with a carabiner and a compass on here. And it uh, has a waterproof hatch on the back side with a uh, USB. This is your output, this is the charge also has a built-in light which is another thing that I really liked about it so you have a built-in flashlight here and I can charge my I can charge my Android phone from zero up to full about three times with this thing so it has an amazing amount of uh, has an amazing amount of uh, power to it. Oh, here we go. Here's the specs. 10,200 milliamps. Now this, I can charge 
off of the solar panel. So plug it in and uh, I can top this guy off from the solar panel. If it was completely dead, it'd probably take a, I would imagine a full day to, to bring it up. But uh, then I've got a, a, a fully charged uh, power bank with a flashlight. And I can also use this to charge various, uh, various items here, batteries, uh, the uh, headlight if need be. And there's also another thing here. I picked these up off of eBay. And these were really cheap. And again, I picked red for the covert aspect. So there's not a white light. If I'm in a bug out scenario, I want to keep a low profile. Uh, so the, the red, uh, one will, as we just discussed, will not give away the position as readily, but uh, also preserves night vision. And that just turned on. This would be great light for inside a shelter, rummaging around inside a pack, or what have you. But these are actually really bright. And I, uh, I tested these out. Uh, you'd be amazed how much light these throw out. So you'd have no problem lighting up a shelter. You could probably even navigate with one of these if you really had to at night. It'd at least keep you from running into things and, and whatnot. So. Uh, and these were really cheap off of eBay. They come in different colors. And uh, again, I chose the, the red for obvious reasons. So they just, they're like a, a flash drive. And they have the little, whoop, I guess I better put the little protector back on here. I don't think I paid more than... I don't think I paid more than uh, I think it was two or three dollars for uh, I have five of these so I have three in this kit and uh, I have a couple in the other one over here so that is uh, that is my little one of my little kits that I put together I have Several other little kits, um, some of them primitive, uh, that I'm going to profile in uh, in future videos. So uh, it's just something I like to do. I like to throw together throw together things like that. And uh, not really big into a lot of the mainstream stuff. I just like to customize customize things. If you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, feel free to drop them down below. And uh, as always, I always welcome your feedback. And uh, I have a lot of videos planned this year, a, a crazy amount of videos. Uh, I have to get up in the woods. I've been very busy. And, and uh, as I mentioned in the, uh, in the introduction, I got sidelined with some oral surgery that popped up on me and been recuperating from that. So, but... Uh, I was uh, I was excited to get out and uh, and uh, get a video done today. It's been I think two or three weeks since the last video. So, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you're having a great day or night, depending on where you're you're located. And uh, as always, I will see you all very soon on the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to share something with you. I was playing around with this a little bit and there is a, a confirmation light here that uh, God, I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up or not it's glowing there you go you can see that right there it's glowing red there it is there it is it's glowing red so uh, it'll turn green once the battery is topped off so uh, the uh, solar panel is kicking out enough juice to uh, charge uh, charge the batteries so anyways everybody have a great day I'll see you soon bye bye